and I thought I am going to kick off this video by showing you what I typically do to change over my clothes and shoes for the season and that's promise I said I, you just saw this wonderful um, summer shoes and sandals that I got that I said I'm going to start wearing right now so I thought let me just rip open the band-aid or rip off the band-aid I have on not a stitch of makeup today only thing I actually have on is remember that um remember Jackie speak properly uh the uh lip balm that I said I got from Honest so that's the only thing I have on my lips I don't even have on lip liner so I just threw that lip balm on so anyway so let's get started I'm going to change over my 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 shoes now I'm going to ask you your opinion too should I keep certain shoes and get rid of certain shoes sometimes you know how it is we have like our staples and some shoes I'm going to show you I've had probably like 15 years and I just can't let go and then some of them are new but you guys know what I always say I truly do believe in buying like quality so that way you'll have it for a long time sometimes we do buy fad stuff and that's fine but that's where I like to buy I spend like less money in those things but things that I plan to have on for a long time what you're gonna see I may have paid extra but here's the thing you guys know what I say most of the things that I get are, are like on sale or figure out how to get the best for less. You guys know I love going to consignment stores. I love doing stuff on eBay. I love getting stuff on sale. So wherever I could find the quality pieces at a lower price, price shop, we all do that too. Um, I'm actually... I'm actually eyeing a pair of brown sandals that I love and I saw them someplace else that somebody was advertising for I was like oh that's too much money I've been doing a lot of research and I found them for like mm, a third of the price I really want them but I don't know if I'm gonna get them but I'll keep you posted if I do get them okay all right, so let's get back to changing over the, over the shoes give me your thought and um, about some of these shoes too and if I should just let them go or not as you can see from my closet self this is generally my system that has worked well for me some things I keep in the boxes and containers just because I don't like like dust and stuff to get on certain type of shoes so that's why I keep them in the box and also because I can able to, to stack them on top of each other which allows me to basically store like five or six pair of shoes on a shelf versus compared to you can see like here I'm only can have like three pair of boots at a time because you can't like stack on top so generally shoes this allows me to stack more which gives me um, a, a lot more space I don't have a lot of room for like my shoes so this system generally works well for me like I keep like sneakers here thin sh thin like shoes here as you can see and then I go into like my ankle boots ankle boots ankle boots and then um, like winter shoes are stacked here and then I keep my long boots in the long plastic containers and I have a couple pair in each container so that works out really well I'll, I'll show you now what that looks like I've showed you before but um, so no nothing fancy I get these little containers from the container store and I've been just adding you know over the years and they're the same size and all that kind of stuff and and they always generally have them in stock I really do try to just keep things that I know I am going to wear and so I just think it's such a, a freeing feeling you get to wear more stuff because because you know you're minimizing your wardrobe and and then plus you can see things more because you're able to organize it more so that's one of the reasons why I am trying not to like over clutter or have like too much because then I won't have room <laughs> so anyway so I'm gonna get started now and changing over my clothes so I can start wearing my new summer shoes Here's one pair I'm going to start with. Should I get rid of these or not, you guys? I have had these shoes. Wow. I uh, originally got them from Saks probably like over 15 years ago. Are these too pointy? Should I keep these or get rid of these? I did. Ooh, I love these. My, my Rossi. I didn't really wear these this much this season, but still love these. 
this is another pair oh i love these manolo blonic i love these i got these like on ebay a couple years ago i love okay these are i'm definitely keeping i know they're pointy but i love them because i love how short the heel is it's a pretty chocolate brown suede and they're like perfect wearing like with um with a dress or skirt or with ankle pants i love these guys know i love these my my that started my love affair of wearing chunky boots my products love these these are super old to leave these here because realistically these are like all year round like um and i don't have a lot so this is like all the sneakers that i own so i'm basically gonna keep these here because these are like the my sneaker shelf here and then these are like little like uh like my little um chanel espadrille my gucci moccasins that i've had forever and then my little uh my little Prada slides that I've had forever. So I'm gonna leave those there because as you can see, it's not much room. It's like a thin shelf. So I'm gonna leave that there because I'm definitely gonna still gonna wear those in the, in the um, spring and the summer. So now I'm going to uh, take out these containers. Although most of these are my um, Gucci slides because they're to me considered all year long too. So, um, but I'm just gonna reorganize them just to tad bit better so i'm gonna go ahead and take these off now too i have another shelf up here like these are i will consider like my like wear in the rain type of sneaker if i had to wear one like these are ferragamos that i got off of ebay i love these these are like super old and they're so nice they're like this like snake print yeah like a snake print um and like a suede on the side i love these i'm keeping these so up at the very top is like i keep i consider this my rain shelf so like when it's raining or something and i still want a cute little shoe then this is my shelf is my go-to for if it, they get a little bit messed up it's okay because they're already kind of messed up but they're still cute shoes so this is my rain shelf up at the very top Okay, everybody, I've gotten everything packed up. I'm leaving the lid off of this container because I'm waiting for you to tell me if I should keep these or not. So I'm gonna keep those on top and wait for your feedback. And then, you know what? Here are the, I know I was talking about a lot the, on the last video. So here are the uh, dupes from Zara for the, uh, the um, leather, um, chunky boot that I said I fell in love with so if you're able to find them and didn't see my other video and saw last week's video this is the dupes that I was talking about that I wore so much and that's the reason why I bought the Bottega ones now let me share with you another pair okay I have to tell you this story about these shoes about these boots I love these boots. I have not worn them in years but I think I keep them for sentimental reasons so now this whole stretch up the leg like skin tight type of um boot we've been wearing for many years now but i'm telling you back when i bought these things 20 years ago it wasn't a whole lot of that like nobody really even knew how to get these boots on and i'll never remember this i will never forget this story i wish back then like we didn't have cell phones or anything like that so you wasn't like videotaping like funniest moments but I will tell you I fell in love with these boots I was determined to get these things on it was literally a lesson from the cell search I remember we were all at Birdos me my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law and I fell in love with these boots and literally it must have been about a half an hour before the cell associate and I finally was able to get these things on I was not giving up they came in brown and black and I just loved them so much it's like a pretty chocolate brown pointy toe 
thin ankle as you guys know this is like the highest ankle i mean highest heel that i can wear and so it was like perfect and it was like nice and skin tight up your leg and because of that it was hard to get it in so you had to put your foot in on a certain angle oh man it was like it was like a workout i remember sweating so much i remember i had to take breaks because i was sweating like crazy <laughs> Anyway, my mother-in-law and my mom probably definitely remember this story. And then I finally got them on and I was like, whew. And then this other lady was there. She saw them and saw me try them on and she loved them and she was determined. She had the same problem that I did. And it was so nice. We ended up exchanging phone numbers, but we never really got in contact to stay with each other. And she ended up getting the black ones. And we were just laughing because as we were leaving, still she was going through the process of trying to figure out how to get these things on. Now we got it down to a science because so many boots are made this way, but over 20 years ago, they were not. But now I got it to a science. So anyway, I think I keep these because they're so cute. And I think I just keep because it was just a fun a fun video moment if we did take a video. Uh, I had to laugh at myself. Uh, the things that we go through for things that we really want. But anyway, so let me know what you think about these two. So I'm on the fence. I'm not really sure. But uh, but anyway, I would love your opinion. Okay, so now I'm all boxed up for the, the winter boots and everything. Uh, so I basically put like all my ankle boots and everything in individual containers so now i'm gonna stack them up on top of each other and then replace the shelving with the summer stuff all right let's go you know what shoes are my favorite and i i, I think i say that word a lot but as i'm going through my summer shoes i have all have them all pulled out my favorite shoes that I wear a majority of the time that I really have to do better with. Stop wearing so much, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna show you what my go-to summer favorite shoes are. Number one, you already know because I say this so much, and that is my Gucci print sound. So I have them in black, and I have them in the black and the star, which is my my recent purchase of them. And then I have the, um, the ones that I had on earlier today. And then my other, other brand, and shoe that I think is my favorite go-to in the summer are my Hermes Oran. So you guys know, so here are the brown ones that I have. I have a black pair. I have the bronze pair that I got as my little splurge color last season. So, and then you guys know, I just added the orange poppy. So I want to say Gucci Prince Sounds first is what I go to first, second or is it Oran sandals. And then I'm going to show you a pair, don't judge me, but they're so old and they're so beat up. Can I say when I wear these little slides, I still get compliments and they are not an expensive shoe. And I don't want to get rid of them because I would love to replace them. I've been trying to, but I haven't been able to do that. Spell it below for you, but this thing is like so beat up it's disgusting but i will tell you i have worn it so much it is my go-to slide i still wear it i have to it doesn't look as bad on i think and i still get compliments when i wear it. it's like so crazy so i am going to replace it it's just so daggone comfortable and the heel is like basically like no heel it's this little rubber part here at the bottom but those are like my go-to sandals. Yes, I have others. I did show you the the Valentino that I splurged and got as a color last season. So that's what these are. So I got these on sale. Um, so I'm, I'm, you know, excited to have those and kind of add them to my collection. But I just want to share with you like literally like which is a... When I don't feel like thinking, Generally, like one of those always tend to um, to go with, with my outfit. So anyway, I am now going to put this off on the shelf. And oh, before I do that, let me, I got, I did, uh, I did pull a couple of things that I just want to get your opinion on. I don't know what these are called, but it, you know, has that like circle um, standard for the Hermes look. And I bought these basically to wear, but I really don't wear them. And I actually got them, I think I got them pre-owned. I don't remember where I got them because I've had them for a good six, seven years. But I don't know why I don't wear them. Why don't I wear them? Does anybody else have these? I don't know. I don't know why I don't wear these. I don't know. Should I keep these or should I sell those? So that's one pair. 
Another pair, oh, I want your opinion. These are a pair of Manola Blahniks. Right. I got these pre-owned from a consignment store like years ago. And ironically, similar color. And they're a pointy toe, just a quintessential like leather camo pointy loafer. I don't wear them this much. I think I've maybe worn them... I've had them for a good eight, nine years, and I think I've worn them three times. They're comfortable, so it's not even that. I don't know why. Is this look like totally over? I should just get rid of them, but I want your opinion. And I did just buy those white Hermes loafers too. So anyway, I want your opinion. Should I get rid of these two? Okay, I'm going to look for your thumbs up, your comments below, because it would help me to like keep or get rid of those things. All right, so now I'm going to put up the stuff. Check the closet is done. So here's where I put my new Hermes loafers. So this is like my, like my loafer type of like whole shoe will go here closed in. So if I need to do like business casual or just when I wear a closed shoe, here are the sneakers, like I said, that's there, like casual throw on loafer sneaker type. Here's what I did with the uh, uh, Gucci Prince Town, so the new Alexander McQueen. I didn't want to leave it in a box. I'm try I really wanted to keep some things out of the box this season because I've learned from over the winter. If I have them out of the box, I'm prone to wear more things. Um, but my space doesn't allow me to not have them stacked up because, as you can see, so I put two pair of the uh, Hermes sandals here, um, two in there, and then here are the black Chanel, the, the tan ones I just bought. Um, then here are um, some Valentino slides that I had for a few years. So as you can see, I have five pair of shoes here where if I didn't have them in the boxes, I would only be able to fit three. So or four max so that's why I really have to keep them in a box and as you can see from here I um I, I would only be able because I just tried it on this shelf I would only be able to fit three of my Gucci Prince towns but as you can see right now I have um I have one two three four five six seven pair of shoes on this shelf and I didn't have them in a the boxes then I would only have three so I tried but um, but yeah, if you can take keep things out of the boxes that you'll be better and you'll be more prone to wear your things. Big lesson. Um, but I wasn't able to do it with the summer shoes. So I kind of have to keep them in the containers for the most part now. But anyway, check. I'm excited that I've gotten this part done. Okay. Okay.